Hey, hey, welcome back to Bozzy Callahan's Word of Advice. And continuing on the topics of school, since we are getting back into the school year, I wanted to make a video for all of you, either in high school or maybe in college. And you are finally at the top. You are a senior. And I know that may feel like a very exciting time to be a senior, being at the very top. I know it felt like an exciting time to me. Um, and while it is an exciting time, I know it can also kind of be a challenging time. Yeah, there are those moments when you're dealing with getting into the right school or finding the right job after your senior year is over. But besides that, there is also the challenge of not letting senior year get to you. You know, when you are finally at the top, you might gain a little bit more confidence when you think to yourself, yeah, I'm at the top, so no one's going to mess with me, and hey, now that I have more privileges, I can go out and party more or join more of the cool crowd, and, you know, for those underclassmen, I can just kind of walk all over them. You know, maybe not everyone will deal with this temptation to act that way, but maybe some of you will. And I just wanted to talk about controlling your seniority when you are either in high school or college because I believe it is a very important thing to control when you are a senior. You know, it can be so easy to mess up and possibly make a big mistake which could come back to haunt you. Whether this is joining in with the cool crowd and doing something stupid or your behavior when it comes to walking all over the underclassmen, assuming if you think that way. Or maybe at the end of the year, when you think to yourself, hey, I should pull a senior prank. When it comes to all these things and being a senior, what I would highly recommend thinking is that you are simply still one out of many people going to school. Now, yes, you are at the very top as a senior, you know, you're, you're at the very top and everyone else is a grade below you, but you should not let that get to you. You know, even though you are at the very top, that doesn't make you better than the juniors or the sophomores or the freshmen and anybody else below you. You are still another student among plenty of other students at the school you are going to. And you should not let being a senior get to your head in a negative way. You know, when I was a senior, yeah, I was excited, but one of the things I decided to do, and this is something I'm still very happy that I did, what I decided to do was reach out to the freshmen and sophomores, people who were still getting used to the whole high school experience and you know I decided to become a friend to a bunch of sophomores and freshmen and because I did that I know I can say I was at least one senior who was trying to be welcoming and encouraging to the newer students who were still trying to get used to high school and a bunch of underclassmen became a lot of good friends of mine and they also appreciated the fact that there was somebody else who was above them in high school and you know they had that person who was motivating them so they could you know not be nervous and try to get used to high school even more you know I did this and I think a few other friends of mine did as well and all of us can look back at our senior year in high school and we can say that we are happy that we did this. You know, instead of thinking to ourselves that we are the absolute best and everybody else is uncool, what we decided to do was reach out to other people and, you know, try to encourage them and motivate them. And also when it came to um, other stuff when it came to our senior year, like take for example a senior prank. You know, me and another friend of mine we did not go overboard with the senior prank we did. 
what we decided to do was go talk to a teacher and ask his permission if this senior prank would be a good idea or not. And, you know, since we came up with a kind of senior prank which really was not bad, we were still able to come up with something memorable and we did not get in trouble for it. Overall, you know, me and some friends of mine, we stayed out of trouble because we knew that would be the right thing to do. And also, we had more fun as a result. You know, when anyone stays out of trouble, your life can be a bit easier, opposed to if you do get in trouble. And when you're a senior, I would highly suggest that you just try to stay out of trouble. And also, don't think to yourself that you are better than everybody else, even if you and your other senior friends are technically at the top of the game when it comes to what grade you are. You know, don't worry about all that. Just simply try to remember that you are one student out of many. And, you know, when you are a senior, take advantage of that time to enjoy some fun moments with your friends for possibly the last time. And also, reach out to the underclassmen and try to motivate them to enjoy high school and reach out to other people. I believe if you simply try to do these things, try to have fun during your senior year and make smart decisions, then you can control your seniority and you will stay out of trouble, just like I did. So, overall, when you are a senior, remember, it can be fun, and if you make smart decisions, then you can even have more fun as a senior in high school or college. And with that, I certainly hope what I've had to talk about in this video will come in handy. I hope you all out there have a great senior year. If you are a senior, come back with another word of advice video.